we do, and, and what, we, what uh, we use nature as our inspiration for design. And what you see here is just a few pictures of how you can bring the texture, the ideas of, of, of nature inside. So uh, just a few. To have these cat's words, radical sustainability from a business leader. It's a, you know, it's a catchy phrase. I'm sure it's out there already. And you drive the change because I'm absolutely 100% sure that we'll never ever achieve a fossil free future uh, without very strong policies and politicians taking a lead in this transition. And at the uh, points, I think that Swedish business sector has better possibilities. I mean, we have a very good energy supply which has literally no carbon emissions. Uh, we have the raw materials, mm. the forests, for example. I mean, we have very good base conditions, mm. but of course... We learn more and more about how the brain works. And one of the interesting things is that the little part of the brain which assesses risks and threats, it's very good at dealing with short-term risks. Mm. Yeah. But the long-term risks, we, we are not very well developed. Yeah. And, and we don't tax labor tax word in materials, then we will see a very, very dynamic force. And part of it can't turn the switch, but they better make very radical uh, the changes towards <laughs> that because you'll get overrun. You'll become less relevant, you'll get overrun. Um, we are, in my opinion, standing in front of a huge chasm, very deep. Better not take small steps. It's got to be radical. And uh, so I'd like to... Reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 30% by picking, you know, better sectors or better companies, or rating sectors and better companies against the index. Then we allow the asset manager and asset owner to drill into that. So we look at things like where are these emissions are actually coming from, what sectors. So what and now, after this, these years, we can see that actually the performance has been improved. It's natural that you, as an owner, are accountable for what the company does. You, we are on, on nomination committees, you go to AGM and we actually have a vote on who's going to be on the board. And the board is non-executive non directors that will appoint the CEO. Very clear structure.